Oh, here comes Bailey. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Carly. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Gentry. Hi. Do you have everybody in there? Hi. Gemma. Oh, there's Lainey. Hi, Lainey. Jensen. You better change. There's Jensen. He's got a tell us our kaleidoscope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oops. Forgot our life there. <laughs> I love this thing though. It's so it's so much fun. <laughs> oh look, there's Bailey and, and Brady. Hi Lainey. Hi Jacob. Hi. Lainey, do you have fun at the beach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get sunburned? No, you're not now. All right, I'm going to throw some music on just to get it going this morning. I'm just going to mute y'all real quick. Get some music going. Here we go. Guys, you can get up. My kids. Can you hear it? Thumbs up if you can hear it. This is my pain, this is my focus, all of my days, I know where my hope is, I live it loud, throughout the chorus, because I know, oh, you're always for yeah. us, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe, believe, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe. Yeah. 
I think we got who is going to log on this morning. Hi, Brady. Are you saying hi to Brady? Okay, mute y'all. All right. Oh, look at Brady. My blanket. You want your blanket? It's mom's room. Oh, right there. All right. Okay, guys. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah, is everybody awake? All right. So, my name is Nikki, as you know, and welcome to your virtual jump. All right, go. So, we're having a ton of fun this morning, as, or this summer, as we learn to, as we focus on what it means to have faith. Yeah. Faith is it's really cool. Yeah. Faith is trusting in what you can see because of what you can see, right? So if you want to trust in something, hold on. If you want to trust in something or someone, you've got to know what that they are trustworthy, right? You've got to know that you can count on them. And 100%, like you can't just trust a little bit. You gotta trust them all the way, especially if they want you to do something. So that's what it's like with God. We can put our faith in him completely because we know he is completely good. We can focus on what we can see, the way he works in our lives and the way he's been working in people's lives since, since the very beginning, ever since like Adam and Eve and on. So that helps us have faith. So have you ever seen something, but you walked away and you couldn't remember exactly what it looked like? I don't know if I have, right? I see some heads nodding. So um, there are probably lots of things we see every day that we think we remember, but we actually don't. So we can play a fun quiz game about that today. So let's take a closer look and see what you, can, you guys can remember. Okay. So I'm gonna unmute you all because you guys are gonna have to answer. All right, unmute. If you muted yourself, you're gonna have to unmute yourself. All right. Because now you're gonna, oops, sorry. Okay, we're trying to keep Bubba out of this. All right, so we're gonna get started. This is, you have to try to remember, and then I'm gonna flash the right slide up on the screen. I'm gonna make sure Naomi's not looking at my paper too. So, our first question. Who is taller, Buzz Lightyear or Woody from Toy Story? Carly? Carly, what do you think? Woody? Bailey, who do you think is taller, Buzz Lightyear or Woody? Buzz. Is that Buzz? Okay, Lainey, who do you think? You think Woody? Gemma and Gentry, who do you think? You guys think Woody? You guys muted yourself, but I could definitely read you. All right, Jacob, who do you think? Buzz. <laughs> Carly, who do you think, Buzz Lightyear or Woody? You kind of frozen on my screen. All right, are you guys ready to see the answer? Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry, my kids say Woody. <laughs> okay, Ruben says Buzz Lightyear and these two say Woody. All right, here we go. And the answer is? Woody. Woody. Woody's color. 
Don't worry, we've got plenty of extra questions. Okay. Who are they? I don't watch Toy Story anymore, so I don't really know. Oh, yeah. exactly. Oh. exactly. I didn't know until I looked it up because I thought Buzz White either. So. I never even watched this movie. All right, well, the next one you'll probably get right. Listen up, guys. All right. So, what color is Mickey Mouse's nose? Car Carly, what color is Mickey Mouse's nose? Black. His nose. Black. Black. Bailey, what color is his nose? Black. Elaney? Black. Mickey Mouse. Um, Jacob, what color is Mickey Mouse's nose? Jacob? Black. Black. And Gemma and Gentry, what color is his nose? Black. Black. And my kids, what color is his nose? Black. All right, everybody's saying black. Here we go. It's black. All right. I have to watch Mickey Mouse every day because Brady watches it. There you go. All right, ready for the next one? You may see this if you ever drive around. On a stoplight, what color is at the top? Haley. Black. Top of a stoplight. Same color. It's at the very top. Can we come back to you? Laney, what do you think? Red. Red? Okay. Jacob, what do you think? Red? Gemma and Gentry, what do you think? Red. Red? Carly, what do you think? Red. Red? Bailey? Red. Red? My kids, what do you think? Red. Okay, now, everybody says red. You're right. Red. Red. All right. This one, if you, I had no idea about this because we don't eat it very often, but I do eat it on road trips. So, what color is the bag of traditional Chex Mix? With those little brown wafers in them? What color is the bag of traditional Chex Mix? It's got the cereal in it, little wafer, brown wafers, and this one's hard. So you, if you don't know, just guess the color. You may be right. So, my kids. <laughs> okay, Rebecca's going green. Gray for a bag. Okay. Okay, any, okay, Lainey. What's um, blue. Blue. Jacob. Jacob, guess color. Uh, Yemen nope. Gentry. Blue. Bailey. Orange. Orange. Carly. Carly. Guess what color, Carly? Um, my screen froze on me and I couldn't hear you. Okay, so what color is the bag of traditional Chex Mix? Just guess the color. Blue? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Answer is blue. That's a hard one. That was a hard one. That's probably our hardest one. All right. we don't, I've never seen a bag of traditional Chex Mix, so I don't know what they look like. You should try it, Bailey. It's pretty good. All right, listen up. If you, okay. What is the number on the side of Lightning McQueen? What? Lightning Queen 25? on cars. 25. Oh, um, Naomi's going 25. 25. Rebecca's going 25. Ruben? Probably just gonna go with the sisters. I don't know. All right, who's a Lightning McQueen fan? Jim and Gentry, are you guys Lightning McQueen fans? 25. You're going 25? 99, 99. 99, Gentry's going 99. I'll tell you, the Parkers are getting super close. Jacob, do you have a guess? You don't know? 
Lainey? I know it. Carly. Carly has a Carly has an answer. What? Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Yeah. Bailey. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Okay, Rebecca Shane, he has a ninety-five. 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 Bailey Moore. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay, here we go. The answer. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. That's what Marlon said. Some of you guys are Lightning McQueen fans. I think Carly is. I knew it ended with a five. Okay. I never watched that movie anymore. I know. I haven't watched it in a very long time. Just like, just like all the other movies. All right. Listen up because you guys are not going to be able to hear if you're talking. Okay. The next question. I haven't watched this in forever. But what color is the collar? The collar on Mickey, Mickey Mouse's dog, Pluto. So he has a dog. The collar around his neck. What color is it? Bailey, do you know? Red. Red. Carly, do you know? Laney, do you know? Red. 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 Rebecca's going green. I'm going red. Carly. Red. 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 Jacob, do you know? Left. Where you are. All right, Gentry and Gemra. Gentry and Gemra. Green. Green. All right, are you guessing? All right, we've got several that have done green and several that have done red, and we're divided. So here's the answer. Green. 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 Blue and green were also racing around in my head. Lots of people mentioned it. All right. So here's our final question, guys. Listen up. Our final question. How many eyes do minions have? The minions on Despicable Me. How many eyes do they have? One or two. All right. So one or two. What do you do? All right, Carly, do you know how many eyes do minions have? One. There, there's sometimes two and one. Okay, Bailey? Some of them are one, some of them are two. Lainey? One or two. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of respectable me. I know this. Our brother does. All right, Jacob, what do you say? How many eyes do minions have? One or two. Gentry or Gemma? One or two. two. All right, and the answer is uh -oh. one or two. Good job. You guys did it. I like Bob. All right, so that game really tested our ability to focus on something and actually remember what we saw, right? Yeah. So let's put our focus on our story now as Miss Michelle comes to the screen. <laughs> Where's the story go? Sorry, I got the slides for you. No, don't do that. Oh, okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're staying nice and dry. Um, if not, we might need to build an ark here soon. Um, we're taking a look at a part of God's big story that happened after Jesus lived on earth then died, came back to life, and went to heaven. I thought it would be fun to use a camera today and show some snapshots of what happened in our story. Now, there weren't any cameras back then, but this way we can take a closer look and get to know the different people who were part of the story. So let's get started. The church was growing quickly as more and more people put their faith in Jesus. As the early church grew, one of Jesus' closest friends, Peter, traveled from town to town. <clears throat> he was telling people the good news about Jesus and healing people who were sick. While Peter was in a city called Joppa, he even raised a dead woman to life through the power of God's Spirit. Many people in Joppa became believers, so Peter stayed there for a while with a leather worker named Simon who lived by the sea.
At about 40 miles north of Joppa lived a Roman army commander named Cornelius. Cornelius wasn't Jewish, but he and his family worshiped God and they gave to anyone who needed help. One day as Cornelius was praying, God sent an angel in a vision to him. The angel said, from Acts 10, five through six, send men to Joppa, <clears throat> have them bring back a man named Simon. He is also called Peter. He is staying with another Simon, a man who works with leather. His house is by the sea. So Cornelius called two of his servants and a soldier. He told them what happened and he sent them to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He was hungry and wanted something to eat. While the meal was cooked, he had a vision. From Acts chapter 10, verses 11 through 16. Peter saw heaven open up. There he saw something that looked like a large sheet. It was being let down to earth by its four corners. It had all kinds of four-footed animals in it. It also had reptiles and birds in it. Then a voice told him, get up, Peter, kill and eat. No, Lord, I will not, Peter replied. I have never eaten anything that is not pure and clean. The voice spoke to him a second time. It said, do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. This happened three times. Right away, the sheet was taken back up to heaven. Um, I'm not sure that our camera would even come close to getting a picture of what that would have looked like. But you guys can use your imagination. Just to fill you in on the part about the animals, because it is a little bit confusing, Jews were not allowed to eat the meat of any of these animals because they were called unclean. As you might imagine, Peter wondered what the vision meant. Soon the men sent by Cornelius arrived and asked if Peter was staying there. God's spirit spoke to Peter and told him to go to Cornelius' men. The men told him that Cornelius was a good man who worships God from Acts chapter 10, verse 22. They explained that an angel had appeared to Cornelius and told him to invite Peter to his house so that they could hear what Peter had to say. Peter invited the men into the house to be his guests. The next day, he and the three men set out for Cornelius' house in the city of Caesarea. Some of the people, some of the believers from Joppa came along too. At some point, Peter had begun to understand what the vision about the sheet and the animals really meant. It was forbidden for Jewish people to eat certain foods, and it was also forbidden for Jews to enter the home of non-Jews. But God was making new rules and what, about what was clean. In fact, God was showing Peter something important about the story of Jesus. He wanted Peter to see that what Jesus hadn't done wasn't just for the Jewish people, it was for everyone. So finally, they arrived at Cornelius' house, and Peter stepped inside. Inside the home, Cornelius had gathered all of his relatives and friends to hear Peter. The commander lowered himself to the ground as a sign of deep respect in front of Peter. But Peter said that wasn't necessary, and that Cornelius should stand back up because Peter was only a man. Cornelius explained everything the angel had told him. Then Peter shared with everyone how God had sent Jesus to share God's love. Peter told them how Jesus had taught and healed people through God's power. And Peter also told them that Jesus had been killed then raised to life again by God. Peter told the small crowd how he and some of his friends had actually seen Jesus after he was raised from the dead. While Peter spoke, God sent his Holy Spirit to Cornelius and his family and friends. The Jewish believers who came with Peter were amazed. God had given his spirit to these new believers, even though they weren't Jewish. He learned, <clears throat> because of the vision we saw, he saw and because of his experience with Cornelius' his family, Peter had a whole new picture of God's story. He learned that God's love is for all people, not just Jewish people. Peter baptized Cornelius and all of his family and friends in the name of Jesus, and he stayed with them for several days. He was amazed by the new understanding God had given him. The truth is, when we knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. 
when we put our faith in Jesus, it makes us want to other people to experience his love for themselves. It makes us want to show his love to people around us every single day. Let's pray and ask God to help us see other people the way he does. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus, not just for some people, but for the whole world. Help us to see others the way you do and to show love by treating others the way we want to be treated. Thank you for changing the way we see other people because we've experienced your love for ourselves. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. All right. So, wow. That vision yeah. gave Peter that he gave him was pretty amazing. And on your screen is kind of what my, maybe it looked like, but we don't know. But re Peter really paid attention to what it meant. Be basically, God was telling Peter that he should give others a chance. He wanted Peter to see that the story of Jesus is for everyone. That's why Peter had the courage to do something he had never done before. And which was go to someone who wasn't Jewish, especially go in their house. That was a big deal. And when he did, he was able to tell everyone there that Jesus is God's son, the savior of the world. So if you think about it, the reason we know about Jesus today is because someone told us, right? People have been spreading, people have been spreading the word about Jesus ever since the early days of the church. Hey, Rylan trying to talk that was exactly what god had planned all along because god wanted everyone everyone to know who he is his rescue plan is for all of us right so in fact at the beginning of god's story right up here in your left hand corner god promised abraham and that well actually abraham's down here in the middle so he, he promised Abraham that he would bless the world through Abraham's family. And many, many, many years later, God sent Jesus. So when Jesus died on the cross, he made a way for us to have a relationship with him that would last forever. So what Jesus did for us, what is actually for everyone, that's what God showed Peter that day, that knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. So that was certainly true for Peter, and it can be true for us, too. God can help us see others in a whole new way. Because sometimes we look at people and we know they're different from us, and we're like, ah, you know, I don't really want to talk to them. But really, if you know Jesus, he's going to show you a person in a whole different way. So when we focus on what Jesus has done for us, that makes us want to tell the good news about Jesus to, act to other people, right? We can live our faith by sharing his love with others. All right. I'm going to unmute you guys. Unfortunately, Miss Welty is driving back from Florida today. So we do not have a hate today. Whoa. Baby crying, huh? So we're just going to say our goodbyes, I guess. <laughs> so happy you logged on, Bailey. I'm so happy to see you, Lainey, you too, Carly, the Carly, Jacob. Bye, Bailey. Bye, Bailey. Bye, Carly. Bye, Carly. See you guys later. Bye.